Ginataang bilo-bilo is a coconut milk-based dessert with tapioca pearls, yams, sweet potatoes, fruits, and round chewy rice balls. This sweet treat is traditionally vegan Filipino. We have a pot of coconut milk here that's simmering under medium heat. And it's about 13 and a half cups of coconut milk. Other people use half of its water, half coconut milk. It's also healthier that way, but I prefer to have it this pure coconut milk instead because it's richer, it's creamier. Now it's time to drop our tapioca pearls. You don't want to put a lot because it will absorb a lot of liquid. It will get really thick and lumpy based from my experience. Sometimes the tapioca even dissolves because it didn't have enough liquid. Just keep mixing so that the pearls won't stick. Meanwhile, let's prepare the rest of our ingredients. Moving on to the root vegetables. We have sweet potatoes. We have different kinds of root vegetables and yams. Basically, you want to get root vegetables that are sweet. For example, you can also use purple yam or taro. It doesn't have to be uniformly or precisely shaped. In fact, the, tr the traditional version goes for a rustic style of soup. There we go. Moving on to our bilo bilo. So this is about one cup of glutinous rice flour. Make sure it says glutinous and not just regular rice flour. Let's add the water. About half a cup. Using our hands will combine them. This is a great way to get your kids involved in the kitchen. I usually have my nephews help me in the kitchen. So as you can see, it's a gooey texture. It's very similar to mochi dessert. If you had mochi before, mochi ice cream, for example. And we'll form them into small balls. Using both palms of your hand, we want to get a little bit like this, just a chunk, put it in the center of our palm, and then roll it into a ball. What this gives you is a chewy texture that goes really well with the other ingredients because the other ingredients will have a little bit of a bite. This one will have that really soft texture. In the Philippines, we call it ginatang bilo bilo, but sometimes I would hear my auntie also say ginatang halo halo. Halo halo means mix in Tagalog. And we're ready to drop them to our pot. Just slowly but surely. So here's a uh, trivia quiz. How do you know if your galapong or your bilobilo is ready? How do you know if it's cooked without having to taste or without having to smell anything? You'll know by the look of it. Once they start floating on top, they're done. Let's go ahead and mix it. I also lower down the heat so that the tapioca pearls won't burn on the base of the pot. We will leave it alone for now so that our bilo bilo will have some time to cook. We'll go ahead and make the rest of the ingredients. These are the sabah bananas and the jackfruit. But first, let me wash my hands because it has a lot of rice still. Okay, we're back. Or I'm back. So we'll unpeel one of these sabah bananas. You want to pick the ones that are soft and mushy, the texture. And the color is almost all black on most sides. Peel that. Just pile them up like that and then just slice them into chunks. Moving on to our other ingredient, langka or jackfruit. I have featured this one before on our adobo episode with uh, the kale adobo with jackfruit. I got the canned ones again on Pacific but you can grab any fresh ones if you have access. So long as they're yellow, you want to make sure that they're ripe. You want to pile them like this and then slice, slice into strips. As you can see, the bilo bilo have floated on top, which means they are ready. But let's go ahead and mix it some more so nothing sticks on the bottom. If the yams are ready, let's using a fork, we'll just poke and see if they're soft enough. Yep, it goes through. Let's go ahead and add the rest of the ingredients. Nice and slowly, just add them. Then we'll add the bananas. Nice and slowly. Doing it on the side of the pot so it doesn't splatter all over the place. 
We are gonna use raw sugar. Unfortunately, pure white sugar is not vegan. We're gonna start with about half cup of sugar first. Then we'll taste if it needs more. This part is when you adjust it to your liking. A little bit more sugar. You can stop here if you're watching your sugar intake. I'm gonna put a little bit more. But my mom would always advise if you're dealing with coconut milk, to always put it to a boil before you turn off the stove. So let's just increase the heat and then wait for the first boil in. We're gonna transfer it to a bowl. I remember back in the day, me and my younger sister would always have ginataang bilo, bilo as our afternoon snack or merienda. We always get this at this small stall. Our neighborhood, Karinderia, at uh, Aling Ia, or that's her name. So I decided to bring in my little sister to try in this ginataang bilo, bilo. Come on in. Wow, okay. Can you try it? Yeah, please do. So is it Aling I or Aling E? Aling E. I think her uh, name, full name is Ia, or maybe that's her full nickname. Mmm. How do you like it? <laughs> Good. Brings yeah. back the memories back in the day, you know, when you're growing up. This is the stuff that we grow up loving. Um, we always. Uh, Kino kulit, ano sa English noon? Bugging. Yeah, we always bug our, our mom to go there so we can try this. Yes. I hope we can try it at home as well. It's easy to replicate. Kain na, let's eat! Of them. 